Welcome to Seals on the Move, I'm Alex Seals. And I'm Rosie Seals. Get ready to sip some Joe and pet a kitty at Scruffy's Cafe in Knoxville, Tennessee. Fulfill your cat lady dream by entering a room where cats roam free and you can relax and let the stress melt away. We'll try some of what's offered in the cafe and of course, show the cats. So let's get a move on with Seals on the Move. Scruffy's Cafe's mission is community togetherness, followed by mental health. You wouldn't believe how much cats, soothing music, and a calming environment helps the stress to disappear. Most of the cats are adoptable through Young Williams Animal Center in Knoxville, so if you make a good friend, you can take them home. If you want to stop by, I would suggest coming on a weekday as the entrance fee is a bit cheaper. Here's the cafe area. All sorts of choices, got cupcakes, got all sorts of coffee, which we're getting coffee. Rosie's getting a matcha drink okay. and here is I'm getting basically like a s'mores drink which sounds amazing I want to give you a got t-shirts <laughs> mugs stickers I like the stickers <laughs> and a one-up mushroom <laughs> and some toys <laughs> I like these. <laughs> I like these. You got cat toys, pancakes, bacon and eggs. That's a perfect one for you, Rosie. Rosie loves her bacon and eggs. <laughs> and randomly a lobster. Oh, and a dragonfly. You got cat socks. These would be perfect for Rosie. Yeah, I, I thought that was funny. And there's the logo right there. Still come on back. Thank you. Thank you. You're so welcome. Ooh, this is nice. Thank you. My whole heart parcel. It looks very nice in here, I think. Yeah, thank you. There's your first screen. It's very friendly. <laughs> I say, and she walks up. It's nice and serene in here, and you gotta be quiet. Got the cat on the table. It's really nice, though. They'll, they'll bring our drinks in and everything, so this will be really cool. So you can see the cat behind me. This is really neat, and I'm excited about my drink. <laughs> Jumped off. I like these mushroom scratching posts. Looks like a giant hamster wheel. <laughs> then you got the teddy bears. Oh my gosh, look at this giant hamster wheel. Hey kitty! Kss, kss, kss. Oh no, come back here! Kitty! Kss, kss, kss. Hi kitty! Hi kitty! Sss, 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 sss. We have a cat spotting. Looking right at us. Look at that stretch. Looking right at me. <laughs> They're friendly little cats. So I read something that said if you stick your finger out to a cat, and it, well, this cat's already friendly, but if you stick your finger out, it's similar to what cats do when they're friends with, friendly with each other. If she sticks her nose to my finger, it's cats stick their noses to each other when they want to be friendly with each other. And there she goes. There she goes. She wants to be friendly. They said to pet them on the back, pet them on the cheeks, and pet them on the forehead. And that's what they like the most. Here comes another one. Yeah. Yeah, I know. No, but you don't, you don't want to be friendly with me, huh? The cats have good taste in reading material. It's a uh, Star Wars something. I'm not sure. Oh, it's comics. That's neat. Cat crimes. What have they done? Cats on cat hip. <laughs> hey, 
No, buddy. How are you? Ooh, you like that, don't you? Yeah. You want your cheeks rubbed? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't like that I stopped, huh? Hey. Smile for the camera, kitty. <laughs> Hey, baby. He smiled pretty good for, mm. for the picture we took for our cover picture. Oh, you look so relaxed. Look at you. Oh, it's very relaxing in here with the music Night and the time. environment. It's a very relaxing environment. Hi, night time. Hi, kitty. Hi. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, baby. You must have touched him somewhere where he didn't Sorry, like. Sorry, kitty. I didn't mean to. He says, yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Cat cafes began in Taiwan back in the late 90s. Japan, however, is the cat cafe king, with over 150 located in the country. So Rosie got some uh, matcha tea, and she's tried matcha before in a video at the uh, in New York City when, when we went to uh, Dominique Ancel. I love matcha. Matcha anything is really good. It tastes like Christmas cookies to me, and I really like it. So let's see how it is here at the Scruffy's Cafe. Oh my gosh, it's really You've good. You've never had matcha tea though, just straight up tea. It's always been an ingredient in something. It's always been ice like, cream. Like dessert or, ice cream mm -hmm. or like matcha. So is it good in that? Cake? Yeah, it's really good. Kinda tastes like 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 a marshmallow. Like a matcha marshmallow. Okay, so similar to the cold Christmas cookie thing. That's interesting. And I I love it. It's nice because I it's not like sometimes when you get tea it's like too hot to really enjoy. Yeah. So it's the perfect temperature? Perfect temperature, and it tastes like basically a matcha marshmallow. So it's all relaxed. You got the music, you got the tea, and you got the kitties. And don't forget about the big giant teddy bears. About oh, the giant teddy bears, yes. Well, that's a big thing for Rosie. <laughs> oh, hey there, baby. You want to try some? Now there's a rule, you can't you can't give the cats any human stuff. I know, that's why, I, <laughs> that, that, that's why I'm not sitting it down. I know, I was just joking. <laughs> And the lady up front was saying that they do put like lavender in here. Okay. And so I can, it, it adds to the calming atmosphere. It adds to the calming atmosphere and it's just a calming in general. It, lavender is anything kind of calming if you're kind of just having a rough rough day and you just want to kind of calm down a bit. <laughs> Look down in the corner Look there. Look at tail. Oh, and he looked, looked right over at me. So how many seals of approval do you give it? I would say, well, one more step, just to oh, yeah, just just, double check. No, of course. Is she gonna leap? Mm. No, she's settling. She's she I would likes say your lap. Definitely five out of five. This gets a five star. Five seals. Okay. It it's a perfect temperature, perfect flavor. Yeah, five out of five. Those are very soft pants you're wearing, and I think she likes that quite a bit. Oh. Referring to most of these cats as she, we I have no idea what the gender is of any of these cats. Okay. That one down in the corner is so funny. He keeps looking over, oh, and he's hey. right behind you in the corner. He's too behind me. That's so funny. Oh, can I come to me? <laughs> so I got. Uh, remember the campfire kitty I think this is what it's called we'll put it down at the bottom but you can see the cats come over even when you're trying your food and your drink um, so this is kind of a s'mores based drink oh she really which, likes you I know. <laughs> she's really skinny really tiny kitty which I, I really like s'mores drinks so I'm kind of getting distracted with the cat and everything but let's try this it smells good it's got chocolate graham cracker type stuff yeah we'll put all the, that up on the screen down here Mmm, that is good. I feel like, hmm, I'm gonna take another sip. It's pretty good. I'm not tasting the coffee. Is this like a tea drink? I hmm. thought it was a coffee drink. Me too. Hmm. I don't think it is a coffee drink. Hmm. A bit chemically for my taste, because I think they're used the, the those kind of, uh, the pump flavor things, but I'm trying to see if I can taste s'mores. I think it's tea. For tea, it's really good. If it's coffee, it's not. 
but if it's tea, it's pretty, it's, you know, it's decent. <laughs> it almost tastes like it has a raspberry taste to it. But I'm not quite tasting s'mores, so. I'm not tasting kitty either. That's the other thing it says in the campfire kitty. <laughs> but it's not bad, it's not bad. I'd give it probably a, what would you say? How many seals of approval should I give it? Um, probably a two out of five, it's just not my kind of thing. It's, I'm not a big tea drinker. Hold up, I have to stop the video here. It turned out, as you will see in a second, that the drink needed to be stirred. So I can't give it a fair rating since I didn't drink it right. The chocolate at the bottom was pretty good though. Okay, start the video again. <laughs> Man, you really like me, don't you? Now, do you want to try the matcha? I'll try the I'll try the matcha. The matcha. Right yeah. Here. I want to see if you get the marshmallow Maybe. flavor mm -hmm. that I was talking about. Hmm. I can taste the <laughs> I can taste the matcha in there. Hmm. That's a tea I could drink on a regular basis. This I love. I like this. I would it's give this. For tea, I'd give it a five out of five seals of approval. It's sweet, but it's not too mm -hmm. sweet. I can see though, the owner here at Scruffy's Cafe said a lot of people say it tastes like dirty dish water. And I can see where they get that, but knowing how matcha tastes and the flavor, I really like it. And it, it does not taste like dirty dish water. Can you taste the lavender in there? Yes. Mm-hmm. Because we use a lot of like we have lavender in soap and lavender, you use lavender oil and stuff. And yeah, I can definitely taste the lavender in there because I'm used to that taste. So I see why my drink didn't quite taste like s'mores because if you look inside, now that it's finished, there's chocolate chips just all at the bottom. It's probably hard to tell, it's a little dark. But yeah, there's just chocolate chips. All down there. We've got some who want to make the escape outside. They're waiting right by the door for their chance. If you are wondering, these cats are adoptable. You don't adopt them through Scruffy's Cafe. They actually partner with the local animal shelter here in Knoxville. And so you can take these cats home. <laughs> now I'd have to say, I'm not a cat person, even though I'm here and I'm enjoying this. I am a dog person. But if I was to take one of these cats home, it would definitely be this guy. He is the most friendly cat He's more friendly than Buddy. Buddy and is my aunt's a, cat, and that's saying something, because Buddy is a friendly cat. Buddy acts more like a dog, not a cat. Yeah. This cat acts more like a dog with the amount of affection he wants. And see, he hears me talking, and now he comes over to me. <laughs> rosie has got these cats in the palm of her hand. Hi, Gary. Hi, Gary. <laughs> Squeezing between us. <laughs> She was meowing at you because she wanted you to pet her. Now that you're doing it, she's not going to. <laughs> Please don't lick me. <laughs> she licked me earlier, you missed it. <laughs> Why are you licking me? Because she likes you, or you taste good, one of the two. Hope. She's such a friendly cat. Is that the cat? That's the cat's name? Hope. What? I don't know. She has hope look. all over. Well, is there anything else written on her neck? Let's see what's on your, um, what's on here? It says hope. You just like to be loved on, don't you? You like attention. You do. So her name is Hope. She's got a number next to Hope. So it's probably her identification number. Like if someone wants to adopt her. Yeah, it's on her collar. Let me go in here. It's on, it's around oh. her neck, so it's a little hard to She's see. She's like, uh, I'm not having any of that. You don't want people to know your name, do you? That's a secret. I love the giant teddy bear behind you too. <laughs> she licked me on the hand. Oh, she liked something that was on my hand. Oh, aren't you adorable, little, little baby? Cats have rough little tongues compared to dogs. <laughs> oh, she loves you. You know what they do when they're doing it? They're rubbing their scent on you. They're, they're marking you, essentially. Well, that's what they're doing to the GoPros. Yeah. Like, they were marking the GoPros. and licking the GoPros. It's a little less disgusting than how dogs work things. So. I can't wait. 
<laughs> I can't wait to see some of that footage. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to fix my chapped hands. <laughs> well, I mean, cats can sense when yeah. you're sick or you're not feeling Dogs well or you're hurt. Can. Yeah. More so cats, I think. Hi, kitty. Are you going to come here now? You want to come see me? Huh? Hi, baby. Hi, sweet little thing. Aren't you sweet? Look at you. Yeah. Kitty. You like that, don't you? <laughs> so there's some video game systems here in the kitty cafe, which is kind of weird. This is a very relaxing place, you know, calming. You get to pet the cats. They have this music in the background. And then they have Call of Duty here. When do people play this? That's what I want to know. But the cool thing is they do have a Nintendo 64. This kitty area is funny. They have a hammock and they have a little maze. They can bat balls around in. Very cool. Hi there, sweet kitty. Hi. Hi there, baby. Yeah. A smaller room full of cats. <laughs> These cats love the GoPros. Just so interested in them. They want to mark them, basically. <gasps> this one's Rose. Oh, is that its name? <laughs> it's, it's you. Rose and Rosie. Okay, kitty, let me get the... I like the cactus house. I, I oh, this get, is the feeding room, too. I can't get the name. Just trying to, look, she said she loves a GoPro. Look. I know, they all do. This is the feeding room. You got bowls all over the floor. <laughs> and you got the big white one. And the limelight. This one kind of reminds me of the cat from um, Secret Life of Pets. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> 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 so adorable. Will be cats. Hi, dear gorgeous kitty. Hello. Hi, beautiful. Hi. Hi there, baby. Mm -hmm. There she is. Let's see. I don't know how well you. There she is. Hi, baby. Hi. You gonna come out and play, sweetie? So I'm not sure if this is a cat that's newer to the place, but she seems to be very, very, a lot more shy than the others. She's kind of been hiding in here for a while. You can hardly see her. Come on. You're friendly. Good. You're friendly. I didn't know because you were hiding away. If you wanted me to pet you. She's enjoying she really that. They like this, the forehead thing. Yeah. They also like cheeks. See? <laughs> Maybe you don't so much. You like forehead. I know that when I started rubbing the one kitty on the cheek, she started licking me. Mm -hmm. Look at that tongue. She's she's happy. <laughs> he or she, I can't, I'm not sure. Looks like a boy to me. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's a big yawn. <laughs> She won't look because the camera's on. Hi, kitty. You want to go night night? She looks so tired. See, look at those eyes. You need she a just, pillow. She won't go to sleep. It's like she just wants to pay attention to us. I like the monster sticker. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Have you ever been to a cat cafe? And if so, what did you think? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. 
Share this with your friends, subscribe so that you don't miss any future adventures with us, and strike the bell so that you will be notified when we upload videos. If you would like to support us, our Patreon link is down below. As always, thanks for watching and supporting.